Hello everyone. We had a question in today's live session about how to create a revision cloud in layout. And I think that uh, I'm going to have a go of it and we're going to save that as a scrapbook item because then we can scale it as we want. Uh, so if we just create a new page in layout, file new, and I'll just choose a four portrait. And then I want to just change the paper size to 200 square. Okay, so the way I'm gonna do this is just to draw a series of circles. So if I just draw one, now I like my, re my revision class to be uniform. You might like them to be organic. If so, then you can just keep drawing different size circles, um, but I like to be precise. So what I'm gonna do is just take this circle that I've already drawn and copy it, holding down the option or control key, and I'm gonna move that by 15 millimeters. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. until I've created the outline of my cloud. Okay, welcome back. Now I've got five in a row. I'm gonna select all of those and do the same thing so that I've got a stack of them. Okay, here we are now. I've got all of my circles arranged. The next tool is just this split tool up here. And all I'm gonna do is snap to each of these intersection points to break this geometry. So I'm just gonna follow this all the way around my cloud like this, okay, and then with the select tool, I'm just gonna select this geometry in the middle that I don't want and delete all that. Brilliant. The last thing to do is just to use this glue tool, this join, and just select each of these lines to stick them all together. And that's, that's it. So I can obviously scale this now, however I want. I drag it into my drawings. Now I would encourage you maybe to do a few different shapes. You know, we might do a, a larger one, a smaller one, etc. But once you've done it once, then you can keep reusing them. Okay, great, that's it. The last thing to do is just save our scrapbook. And let's just call that clouds. See you back in the course.